Dark Eden will be unique in that it'll be published in two very distinct ways. If you're somebody who just loves a traditional novel, three or four hundred pages of just a great reading experience, then Dark Eden is going to be published just like that. If you're more of a wired reader, then we're going to be doing something really groundbreaking here. Will Besting, the main character and the narrator of the story, he records audio files, he records video files, he photographs everything, and he writes. And so all of the things that he does, you're going to be able to experience a story through all of those different methods of storytelling. Anytime you're going to have someone tell you a story, they better be somebody you want to follow around for a while who's interesting, probably has, for me, like a little bit of dark humor going, and just has some interesting, quirky things about their past that are mysterious, so you're not really sure if you can trust them entirely. That, that makes it kind of fun to wonder if everything you're hearing is true or not. And Will Besting is also interesting in that he's, he's obsessed with the idea of sound. And I've never written a character before that had that kind of obsession, and it really sort of drives part of the story. One of the most important aspects of Dark Eden that I think uh, teenage readers will respond to is this idea that we all have uh, fears. And I think it's interesting to think about, well, what would I give up or what cost would I pay in order to have this thing not be part of my life anymore? And it's a pretty important question, and all of the characters in Dark Eden have to think about, you know, they've got these terrible fears that they deal with, but getting cured, there's a cost to that. And how big a cost are we willing to pay? Whenever I write a new book and I get to create a new complex world filled with interesting characters, I'm, I'm in my element. I have a great time doing that. And I'm even more excited this time around for Dark Eden because there's going to be the traditional novel that a traditional reader will be able to enjoy and an immersive multimedia experience for wired readers. I think we're going to reach more young readers than ever with Dark Eden.